Thank you. For watching South Georgia Hot Shot. we made it there she goes we've uh we've been unable to find another load so what we're probably going to do is just start driving and looking for a load along the way if we find one great if we don't i think we're 350 miles from the house so oh well it is what it is can't can't be any worse than how this trip's been B-roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Princess. laughs> Where are we going? I knew it. We're having Home. a girl. Home? Yeah. <laughs> Home. Yeah. Why is it so loud? Yeah. Why is it so loud? morning guys got fingerprints on my on my lens it is uh july 4th 4th of july today baby america uh we sh we showed up yesterday we got home yesterday at about um five o'clock ish we took our time coming home uh we drove by an at home which is like uh i don't know it's a it's a like they sell like paintings and furniture and stuff like that. We don't have one around us. And uh, Lita likes to do a lot of Halloween shopping. And uh, they're, they're putting their Halloween stuff out. So we've been to probably like three or four at homes now. Anyways, we got home yesterday about, about five o'clock, I think. And uh, July 1st was my youngest boy's birthday. And I missed out on that. So we immediately came home, basically threw some, some laundry in the washing machine, said hello to the dogs, and then we took my youngest son out, whose birthday it was, on July 1st, to, uh, to a trampoline park. Kind of like what we went to when we went to uh, Utah. 
and uh, I pushed it too far and I ended up hurting. I'm hurting. I'm I'm so old. I'm only 38, but I have the body of like a 90 year old. We were trying to do some stupid stuff because they got some trampolines on the wall and I was like, let's see if we can jump from here to the wall over to there. And I'm doing the splits and I pulled, I don't know what that muscle is, like right up underneath your butt cheek on the back of your leg. But I, I, I ended up pulling that pretty good. But uh, so I don't plan on being home very long. Um, so I have a lot to do in a, in a few amount of days. Um, as you can see, I think we were gone for about two months. My yard, the grass is probably 12 feet tall now. And uh, I don't like my kids mowing when I'm not here. Just because I'm weird. You know, I heard a story when I was a kid of a, of a lawnmower blade like coming off and killing somebody. And I'm just super weird about my kids mowing while I'm gone. Just in case there's an emergency. So it's not that I'm going to be mowing the yard, but my kids are going to be mowing the yard. But then, so that, that prevention kit that I, that I talked about, I ordered, I've got to get that put on. I've got to get, uh, I've got two new tires for the front of the truck. I'm probably going to go ahead and have put on. I'll probably measure it and take a look at it and see what it looks like. Um, I've ordered, um, so there's a, uh, I've noticed kind of like a clicking in my steering wheel. So I had Lita twist the steering wheel while I was uh, looking underneath the truck and uh, it's a ball joint and um, I forget what this what this rod is called let me see if I can show you guys it though no. I've got uh, so this this rod coming off right here it's this ball joint right here this ball joint right here is kind of clicking so I've got that ball joint ordered and you can buy a whole new rod for like they're ridiculous they're like 300 bucks so I just ordered a new one of these and what makes me mad about these uh, these truck companies or these people making cars and trucks is they never put grease fittings on these things oh I hope I didn't order that I don't remember uh, I know it's this ball joint that's bad but I might have ordered the wrong ball ball joint I might have ordered that one I guess we'll see when it comes in. I think it's supposed to come in uh, maybe today. And then, like I said, I've got that uh, I've got that uh, fuel prevention kit that came in, which, by the way, didn't come with any any instructions. So I have no idea where it goes or how it goes on. But I'll probably film it just to kind of, just to kind of show you guys where it goes and what's up with that. And then uh, I might take the truck in for an alignment. The uh, the front tires are starting to feather a little bit. Um, let's see if it'll show up on camera here. Um, and then let's see what else. We've, we've got to wash this dirty pig up. It hasn't had a bath in a while. Um, and then we've got to get some paperwork together and stuff like that. But as you can see, I've got some trees overgrowing some stuff. I, I, I just, I have an insane amount of work to do while I'm home that, uh, it's not really going to be a home trip. It's it's going to be a go to work a go to work trip. So, but like I said, today's Fourth of July. I might take the boys down, pick out some fireworks, and uh, spend today with them. And then the rest of uh, I've got to go get my passport on Monday. We've got uh, something coming up that you guys will see. I ordered some new rims for the trailer. I ordered two new rims for the trailer. <laughs> while we were gone because uh, we busted that rim so this should be them <sighs> yeah so we've got two new trailer rims in there I've got two new tires that we ordered when I was at my brother's just in case we had a uh, a flat and then I have three new tires that I bought when we had the big techs so we're good on spares for that um, Rockwell's supposed to be sending me the other brake assembly, but that since I figured out what was wrong with that brake assembly, we'll be good with that for now. So we won't be swapping that out. And just cleaning up. Just, we've got a lot of work to do. This is what happens when you're gone. When you're gone, you know, your, your home life doesn't stop. Your grass doesn't stop growing. Everything else that's falling apart at home doesn't stop. It, it just piles up until you get home. 
yeah, you could probably pay somebody to do all this, but then that takes away from your profits, you know? So I just want to get on here, say happy fourth, and uh, maybe we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Because he's going to freak out again more. to screw it up. That was dope. Morning, guys. It is um, Sunday, July 5th. Yesterday was the 4th of July. We ended up having a... Um, so there's a place we go into Florida that I always buy my fireworks from. It's the first exit down into Florida. It's some little shitty shack. But they always cut me really good deals. So I've been going to them forever. Um... 
So we loaded up the boys yesterday like we normally do, uh, rode down, and uh, it's usually buy one, get one free there. Sometimes he'll just throw some extra stuff in the bag because he recognizes me or whatever. And uh, I seen signs posted, you know, buy one, get two free. I was like, dang, that's awesome. He, uh, he must be having a hard time selling some fireworks this year. So um, there's another uh, bigger firework place right there off the right when you get off the exit. I mean, we've gone there before a few times and the deals aren't as great, but they do have probably a newer selection. Anyway, so we went to the place that we usually go and I go in. And the shelves are nearly completely empty. I'm like, wow, this guy's, this guy's going out of business. And I asked him, like, you going out of business? He's like, oh, I know it looks that way. He said, but this has been a record year for us selling fireworks, probably because the whole, the government trying to tell you not to um, have fireworks that it's illegal or whatever because they don't want you to celebrate. Independence Day because they're trying to control us. Anyways, that's a completely different topic. So he's like, yeah, he said, uh, so instead of doing the buy one, get one, now we're doing the buy one, get one half off. I said, so the signs with the buy one, get two free and the buy one, get one free, that isn't the case. He's like, no, if, if I did that, we would be completely sold out. I was like, all right, good to know. And we walked out of the store. I won't be back to that place. You know, you don't get to uh, hijack the price up and change all the signs that you've put down the interstate because people are now coming in to buy your product. Anyways, we went up going over to the bigger the bigger one and they were almost completely sold out. We got some of the big, um, oh man, I, I can't remember who makes it, but the, it's the big professional type fireworks. I, I posted a video on Instagram and those were that. Anyways, so uh, all we did was buy a couple of those boxes like that and we didn't end up getting uh, some of the smaller ones that we usually buy. Anyways, I've spent the day um, cleaning out this mess of a truck um, and cleaning out the bed, trying to get this thing ready because I would like to, um, I would like to leave Tuesday. So I vacuumed it out and cleaned it out like I always do. And um, to be completely honest with you, I'm just, I'm, I'm over coming home and having to work on this thing all the time. It's, it's, it's a constant thing. Every time I come home, I have to, you know, change the oil and clean the truck out. And then, you know, there's stuff around that I, the house I have to do. And it's like the, 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 the longer you stay out, usually the more money you make, but the longer you stay out, the more work you have to do. Well, in this case, we were out for about two months. And just to let you know how long we were out, that three wheeled John Deere tricycle type uh, tractor that we picked up in Tifton, Georgia. Uh, that was our first load that we took for that time out. And then we were out for, seemed like forever. So it was probably two months, came home, grass needed cut, all that. It still needs cut. I, I've, got, I've got some tree branches that I need to trim or else they're gonna end up falling and messing up the roof. We had some uh, trees fall back on the, on the pig pen that I'm gonna have to uh, cut down. And um, anyways, so today's Sunday. I gotta go get my passport tomorrow. Um, I have the CP4 uh, prevention kit right now that I'm uh, about to tackle. Um, and it seems like it's gonna be a nightmare. So I kind of wanted to film the process for anybody who has a Ford and to uh, keep you guys up to date on um, how hard it is, if it's something that maybe we can do ourselves.